What's up, y'all? I know this is Kit. Um, trying to have a different angle for y'all so y'all won't get too tired of seeing me in the same place. Um, I got a camera, of course. I've been knowing that for a minute, but um, my computer is so like whack. I've been having computer like five years, and like I think the memory like going down and down every single day. So you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to like I'm just doing all my videos on here for now, so I can get a better computer and I can upload my stuff. Cause sometimes I like to upload, sometimes I don't. So I mean, I got a lot of videos on my uh, camera that I need to put on my computer yet, cause it's just like like it won't upload it. But anyway. First of all, let me say this. Uh, thank y'all to everybody who's actually commenting, commenting my videos and watching. Thank you to the subscribers. I think I have like 123 now. And like 6,000 channel views. Thank y'all for all that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and for people who actually comment, if I, if you go, if you comment and you go back and see your comments not there, it's because I accidentally deleted it. Because remove and reply is like right there by each other. So I always end up clicking remove. But I still try to remember what you said and reply back anyway. But my bad about that. I'm, I'm gonna try to get 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 that together. But anyway, um, I got some topics uh, that I'm gonna talk about. I'm not gonna talk about them all right now, obviously. But I'm just throwing them out there to y'all. Um, phone sex, long distance relationships. One called "Let Me Sex You Up," which is gonna be talking about like how do you go with the box, like pussy, whatever you wanna call it, the vagina. Um, Rainbow Bright Feminist, I know that I think her name is B. Reeves, she talked about that. And some, um, these stu two studs had come, like they replied to her video or whatever, and then somebody else had replied to another stud. You can get on that. Um, somebody got me with a comment, I mean, a topic of place talking about coming out, um, like dealing with coming out the closet. And she said something else about being bought by people and how you get over it and stuff like that. I am really understanding that. So I think her name is Sade7998. So can you kind of break that down for me, Sade? Explain to me what you mean by that because I don't, I don't understand that part, the second part of it, but I do understand the first part. Um, so um, I guess I'll go ahead and hit a topic right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit that rainbow right. Things I think I'm gonna talk about. I don't really watch the whole. I've never watched the whole video, like before I get too excited and like, cause you know I, me, I forget stuff and I be stumbling over my words. So once I hear something, I gotta go for it. That's why I should write it, take notes like everybody else do. But at that moment in time, I don't have anything to take notes with, so I just gotta go right there. But um, I'm just gonna touch that a little bit, cause I'm at three minutes right now. Sometimes I computer like that gay and cut me off like right in the middle while I'm talking. So, hope y'all can hear me because I'm kind of farther away than I usually am. Not really, but kind of. Um, yeah, I think basically the whole point of it was saying that, um, uh, I think B. Reeves was saying, I think I need to go watch the video again, but, because it was a while back when I watched it, but I think she was saying, like, studs shouldn't be, I guess, scared to come up to a female, if you, you know what I'm saying, if you dig in like that female, you see a female and she look good to you, you should be able to, you know, approach her in a certain type of way or whatever you shouldn't have to have a rainbow like something to stick out or something like that to know you should be able to I, I really don't know what she said because I forgot but this is what I think about it um it depends on who you are cause some people can approach you it depends on how you approach that person like it's kind of hard cause, to tell from females because you know if you don't wear a rainbow it's kind of hard because you could be a straight female and then I feel stupid trying to approach a straight female and then get rejected. I mean, sometimes, you know, they could be a little curious and you can still get the number or whatever, but for the most part, you can, you're going to get rejected. You're probably going to get cussed out and some other shit. But, um, I think that they should wear, like, some type of rainbow or something. Or, like, I think I've discussed this in another video a little bit, but I don't know, remember. Um, I think y'all should have some type of rainbow stuff, you know? Like, all y'all feelings out there. I mean, unless you go to like a gay function, like a gay club, something like that, or like a gay party, obviously everybody's gonna be gay, but like, if you're going somewhere like, there's gonna be like, a higher percentage of straight people than gay people, or, I don't know, just walking down the street, you going to a mall, something like, put a little rainbow flag or something like that, you know, something like a rainbow bracelet, one little rainbow earring, rainbow necklace, something, just 
Like, put something to let us know, you know, so we can approach you. Like, we see you, and then we, like, when we see you, then we can approach you, you know what I'm saying? Like, make it a little easier for us, because it's kind of hard, you know. It's easy to find a stud, because obviously they're going to be just like a dude. See, if you know just like a dude, then obviously they're probably most likely 99% gay. I mean, some females are just comfortable, and they like to wear shit like this and not be gay, but most most of them aren't studs, and if they're not studs, they probably will be a stud in the future. But yeah, <clears throat> so yeah, that's my opinion on that. Um, do I have no time to hit another topic? No, I'm gonna make another video with another topic in there. Maybe I'll move over there or something so I can make it a little more interesting. But yeah, that's my views on the Rainbow Bright. It means so this is basically a video telling you I don't know. Rainbow Bright Fitness, this is called that. Rainbow Bright Fitness slash thanks. Thank you to the people who subscribe and all that. Keep subscribing, keep watching. I promise y'all it's gonna get better. I promise y'all I'm gonna get this computer issue fixed and I'm gonna be able to put the videos that I take outside of this room up so y'all can see it gonna be more interesting I'm gonna get better software so I can up so I can <clears throat> what's the word edit my videos in a more technologicalized form. Uh yeah. Yeah. Um uh yeah yeah. If y'all got any topics, um just let me know. Like I said in my other video I said that and then somebody gave me a topic, so that's how it works. I mean, just hit me up. You can put the topic in the comment box. You can put it wherever you want to. Just let me know comments. I mean, topics. Because, you know, I've been running out of topics like phone text. I don't, I don't think anybody talked about that. We probably have, but um, long distance relationships. I'm in a long distance relationship, so I'm going to yeah, be getting on that and talking about the love making after you've been in a long distance relationship. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go look on some more topics right now so I can see what else I can I can buy out somebody else's topics that they talked about and talk about them because you know I'm running out of topics on my own. But y'all know who this is, so get kidding.